Hello. In this module, you will learn how to connect JLink to your target in the Embedded Studio environment. For the purposes of this demo, the hardware in use will be Segar's MPower board and middleware evaluation code. The MPower board has a JLink OB integrated. OB stands for On Board. The JLink OB option is very common. Many MCU vendor boards have placed JLink OB technology on their evaluation systems. Note, if you are using a standalone JLink version, don't worry, the steps will be pretty much the same. So let's see how it's done. Open your K66 evaluation package. This can be downloaded from the Segar side, as shown. Note, you need to be registered at Segar and logged in to download. So take a few seconds to register if you have not done so already. The extracted evaluation code is on my local drive here. To open the project, go to the start directory and click the .em project file as shown. I'm using the latest Embedded Studio version. Embedded Studio works in the same way on all major operating systems, Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. Okay, connect your USB cable to your evaluation board and host machine. In Embedded Studio, on the bottom right, we can see the target is disconnected. To connect JLink to the target, go to the bottom right in the Embedded Studio window, double click, and in the target window, select JLink. The cycle counter will start. As expected, JLink connects to the target. Now we are ready to build, download, and debug code in a fast, reliable fashion with JLink technology. Embedded Studio can be used without any limitation in functionality or code size for an unlimited period of time when used for educational purposes or for the purpose of evaluating Embedded Studio. That's it for now. Happy debugging. Thanks for watching.